What's going on, guys? Uh, so I want to kind of... Okay, let's explain this. Right now, content is very hard to make. It's very hard to uh, come up with new ideas of things to do. So I guess we'll just do this today. So my work truck last week was... So my work truck last week was hit. It was rear-ended here in Asheville, actually. And um, so we dropped it off Friday to get the like tailgate and all that stuff fixed. So they gave me one of my favorite trucks in the world for a rental. I have a beautiful 2020 Dodge Ram 1500. Now, if you're not familiar with these trucks, they are a little bit more, I consider upscale to the F-150. Now this is like the base model-ish classic. Um, it does have power windows, reverse camera and stuff like that, which is very common for vehicles today. But I kinda wanna go over this thing a little bit and uh, just kinda show you guys some of the stuff I like about it. All right, so this is what it is. I have a like regular four door, not the short one. I don't know what you call this, I guess just a regular cab. And it was a six foot bed. So the tailgate does not have soft close, which is kind of annoying, but it has a cool like liner in it. And I like it. So I mean, it's just a plastic liner. Um, yeah, but I will say this truck is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's one of my favorites, just the body lines of it. And probably one of my favorite parts about this is the front end of the truck. There's something about this front end is just absolutely like menacing. For a truck, come on, come on. So this is the 5.7 liter Hemi, of course. And the interior is absolutely awesome. Look at this. I love the gauges, how they're the nice white. We have the, uh, you know, climate control. So I'm kind of hit or miss when it comes to the transmission selectors, having to just turn a knob. It's kind of kind of cheesy but I do like the fact that it does clean it up because now you don't have all these like stalks on the side of your steering wheel so I do like that climate controls are very easy to use I like how they just glide there's nothing no clicking really it's just kind of like you feel like a little bump but it's nice and smooth bottom control the same way I do like the fact that everything is kind of the same style knob so they don't look out of place or there's no sliders I like I like this this is nice okay let me don't yell at me I have a bunch of stuff in the back because I am using this truck right now and you like the hole in my hand it's pretty sweet it's finally healing but I do like this, even though this is like a base model, it does have a lot of storage. So there's a plenty of room in here. There's an aux hole, USB hole, and another USB hole. I don't know why there's two, I don't know. No. But yeah, it's a nice like little cubby. Um, this is, you know, three cup holders, can't complain. And it does go up if you wanted a third seat or like just a bench in the front. Storage room, you know, so you can like put things, regular charge right here for your 12 volt. And we also have the USB on that side as well. So that's pretty nifty. You got a little storage, a little spot here, so you can kind of like toss your phone, like, ta-da! And it doesn't slide anywhere because it's rubber, rubber. So that's pretty cool. Back seat is huge, absolutely huge. Hold on, I'm gonna climb in. My seat is pretty far back because I was hanging out like while I was on break, and don't pick up my hot water. So, <laughs> so there's plenty of room. Look at this. I can like, I can. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable as hell right now. There's plenty of space in here. You can easily fit three kids or two larger adults back here and not have to worry about space at all. Got this nice dome light, so it kind of lights up everything like as it should. I have two cup holders down here. Uh, it's just there's a lot of there's a lot of room. Uh, and my favorite part is uh, so this is where they store all your stuff. And I can put tools back here. Look at this. I can keep all my pipe benders and stuff right here, which is awesome. Then just slam it down. Ta-da. So you can have a bunch of space to fit a bunch of tubs or whatever if you're loading up a bunch of gear for going hunting or whatever, you don't want to get it wet, and you have a topper, you can easily just set it back here because this is a ton of space. But I like doing this because then it kind of hides that stuff. And I got to figure out what to do with this because I'm afraid that someone's going to break it into the truck and steal it. This is just the classic. This is like nothing special when it comes to these trucks, you know? Uh, I am kind of not fond of the keys, though. Like, this is hideous. Uh... Yeah, but um, that's really it. I just kind of want to walk around really quick and guys show you like how these trucks, like a lot of people, I guess, like hate Dodge for some reason. And I never understood why, because this thing is sick. The power band in this, like it feels nice and smooth the whole time. I give it gas, it moves. It doesn't feel sloppy. When I'm driving kind of like, you know, spirited driving, it, it, it handles very well. And I'm not like concerned about it coming out from underneath me or getting too bouncy. It's not bouncy at all. That's what I love about this. It's very solid. It feels more like an SUV type handling compared to like, you know, some sloppy truck we're used to. I know it's a new vehicle. I understand that, but, but it's nice. It's very nice. 
So, um, yeah, if you're interested in a truck, get one of these. This may be something I purchased sometime in the like near future. I am getting my car first, and then I want to buy a truck. Amy's aware of this, and a lot of people know I'm obsessed with these trucks. I just like them a lot, okay? I'd rather get the big horn because the big horn is sick, but th this would be fine with me, honestly. It doesn't bother me too much. I'm just trying to come up with some contests. If you can think of anything I can do during this quarantine, I am an essential worker. I do travel for fire, life, and safety. So I, ha I have to go from building to building and travel all over the state, states and do this stuff. So um, if you guys can think of any other like random content we can do, that'd be great. I'm gonna come up with some other things. It's really difficult to do anything without, you know, breaking you know the stay at home orders we're just trying to handle that you know one day at a time so if you guys can think of anything at all please let me know in the comments below okay so let's start it up so once again that key fob is kind of strange how it works you put it in just turn it Ooh, i love the way that sounds Ugh, but the seatbelt on safety is always important it's so simple it's reverse neutral drive and it's quick so got the radio uh I don't know, I gotta find a station. I don't know how to, oh yeah, hit this one. Oh Lord. There we go, very, very Asheville. To the hotel, on the way we're gonna grab food. So. Yeah, this thing just pulls. It's not fast, it's quick, it scoots out of the way. It makes a little bit of cool noise. Ooh, I went the wrong way. Oh no. Ah, dang it. How do I fix this? The turning radius for a truck. It's nice and tight, look at this. Oh man. A normal road, it can actually turn on it for being a, a large cab and uh, a big bed. So, that's pretty sweet. This is the way we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go, supposed to go this way, but I, I, I didn't go that way. This feels solid all the time. I've driven a few of these now, like as rental vehicles and whatnot, and all my friends that get them say the same thing, that they just feel so solid underneath like your foot, underneath your hands, when you're driving things, and they tow very well. So that's the reason why I went with Durango, with the Durango uh, for my tow vehicle a while back. You get the you get the value of the 5.7 liter uh, Hemi, which is, I don't care, if you jock the engine, you're, you're an idiot. It's a very good motor, okay? It's not the best motor, but it's a gasoline engine. Come on, you, there's only so much you can do with those things. So I can't complain. I love my Durango. I am selling it because I'm not towing a car anymore. So I'm gonna get something a little bit more like, you know, what I do now oriented, like some buying a Honda Element. But that's in the, that's in the, that's in the, that, that, not right now. So I guess my final thoughts for one of these, like, F, oh my God, Dodge is gonna kill me. So I guess one of my final thoughts for the Dodge 1500s are, I love them. Every vehicle has their own quirks and whatnot, but I love this truck. I love the way this truck feels. I love the way this thing drives. I do like how it's just quiet enough, but just angry enough. Like sometimes I forget how fast I'm going in this, which is weird. But at the same time, when I give it gas, you can, you can hear the Hemi. And I like that. I like the fact you hear that like strenuous engine sound, like the note they give off. I'm into that. Some people aren't. Some people think it's like, Ugh! I think it's cool. I don't know. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these trucks, um, like how you feel about them and all that jazz. I like them. You're not going to change my mind too much on them. A lot of people have tried and they haven't. So uh, let me know your thoughts down below. So I eat Bojangles almost every day while I'm out of town. Is that bad for me? I think so, but I'm okay with it. So while I'm sitting here in the drive-thru for Bojangles, uh, I'm, I'm so listen. I'm buying an Aston Martin. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna buy me one. That's all. I just gotta wait until this Corona stuff is over with. It's very frustrating. It's taking a lot longer than most people anticipated to get this over with, right? Um, I am selling a bunch of things. I do have a little bit left I want to get rid of before I like get the car, just so that way I have the room in the garage and I have the stuff gone. So. Again, I got the wheels and the exhaust manifold, but I think the exhaust manifold may be sold because if this guy buys it, he is one lucky person because that thing is sick. You can't beat the deal, especially the deal I'm giving him. You can't beat it. It's like the cost of a turbo, he's getting a turbo in some ridiculously phenomenal exhaust manifold. What am I supposed to do? So I talk to my coworker all the time about cars. He's really, he's like into like all these high-end cars. The, we're looking into a lot of different vehicles. I love, okay, I'll take it back. I like the fact I can, okay, I can just turn this 
and it's in park. I, I, I like it. So we talk a lot about cars, like you can get Mercedes that make like 600 horsepower for the same price that I'm paying for a 430 horsepower Aston Martin. That's slow compared, but I'm okay with that because I'm buying it. They, okay, so they say you you buy a car for the experience, right? The experience, the Aston Martin experience. I, I don't care about the experience. I'm buying the car because it's something I've always wanted, right? I've always wanted an Aston Martin because I thought they were like cool looking and a, and a, uh, I saw one when I, where I grew up. So I'm like cleaning this off because apparently I made a mess of chocolate or something earlier because I'm fat. But um, there's a guy in my hometown that that had an Aston Martin and I really liked it a lot. I was like, I was like, oh man, I want one of these one day. And I'm at the point where I can get one now. So that's the reason why I'm doing an Aston Martin. Yes, there's other options. Yes, for 20 grand more, not even I could buy a Gallardo and be one of those like cool Lambo guys, which I plan on doing in the future. Or I'm gonna buy, you know, a Ferrari, but okay, that's down the road. But right now we're buying an Aston Martin. People give me shit like, oh, there's faster cars, oh, there's cooler cars. I like the Aston, okay? Freddy Tavares is the same way. He loves the Aston. And he had his, and he misses it. He loved that car. It was one of his favorites, and he got rid of it. So when other, like, big YouTube dudes own a car, maybe it's cool. You know, maybe it's something I want as well. So it kind of pushed me towards that, watching, you know, I mean, Freddie have the car and all these reviews. And then I started getting to Doug, and he liked the car. And it's, you know, it's pushing me to want to buy one more. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just ranting at this point. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that'd be sick. Every little bit helps. Right now, I'm really trying to push some things. Unfortunately, we're dealing with this corona nonsense, so we'll do what we can. But until uh, next time, uh, I guess... Uh